Hello everyone. Hello Wan Ruby and Wan Topaz. How are you today? I hope that you are doing fine staying at home. Have you take your lunch? Very good. Today, we are going to learn about a new topic which is time. At the end of the lesson, I hope that every one of you can state time in a day and state the sequence of events in a day. Time is separated by day and night. We can see the sun during the day. At night, we can see the stars and moon on the sky. Day is bright, night is dark. We can do lots of activities during day and night. However, we need to use the light at night. Let's look at the activities that we can do during the day. We wake up early in the morning. We normally go for a picnic during the day. Our mother usually hang in the clothes during the day because there is the sun. We go to school in the morning or afternoon and we love to play at the playground and help our mother to water the plants during the day. Now, let's look at the activities that can be done at night. Some of us love to read the storybook or completing the homework at night. We also have dinner with our family at night. We brush our teeth before go to bed and for the beds, night is the time to start their lives. We can see the turtles lay egg at night. Let's us recognize time of the day. We start from morning to afternoon and then evening and the last is night. All this time must be in sequence. That means evening must come after afternoon or night must come after the evening. Look at the picture. The children are playing the badminton. The most suitable time to play the badminton is in the evening. Look at the picture. The girl is sleeping. We can see the stars and the moon. The best time for this picture is at night. The girl and the boy are going to school. We normally go to school in the morning. Look at the girls. They are having their lunch. We take our lunch in the afternoon. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching. Stay safe everyone.